So, uh, Tetris seems like fun. Let's do Tetris. I played a lot of the Game Boy Tetris when I was a kid, but my favorite version is the NES version. It was like, it blew my mind when I was a little kid. And always do beat time. I like this cascading delay. I'm gonna buy a headphone amp. I have to. You know, I don't know what this setting does. Height? Is that like starting number of blocks? On the bottom? Must be. Oh my, oh my god! I don't remember ever doing that. Starting ones really make it a lot harder. <laughs> I normally get like a hundred lines. So I've literally, I don't know, I've played this game as a kid a lot. I mean, I play Tetris all the time. But um, I've, I've never noticed the height setting before. I don't know why. It's interesting. The oscilloscope is so pretty. Hexadecimal. All right, that's enough Tetris. Let's check out the Game Boy Tetris. This is the one I played a lot. Oh yeah. Oh, it resizes the window. Interesting. Interesting. Let me fix that. This is a pain in the ass. There. Oh, it's. Oh, I wonder if I did game type B. Oh, come back. No, no, no. We're doing music, different music. It's important. Thank you. 
live remix. Zero. Zero. It's like 7 a.m. here, so I need to go to bed. Uh, now my favorite game of all time. I'll have a few of those. If anyone has any requests, feel free to inform me. Hmm. I keep losing this dashboard page. Oh, here it is. There are two of you here. I'm really sorry about this delay. It's kind of the worst. And I feel like I wasn't under pressure to figure out exactly what is wrong. Because it can't just be the inside phone. Is there a way to mute a single app in OS X? Because that would take care of the problem. Application volume. To Select. Hang on. Hold down. Hold key. Clicking on the Finder button on the sound icon. Yeah, I do that all the time. There's nothing in here about different applications. I just want one of them to shut up. A max keyframe is 8.334 seconds. Please set it to 2 seconds. Okay. Oh, would that be under video? Max keyframe. Oh, it's probably an encoding setting. I just use all the defaults. Video bitrate, that's all it asks for. Alright, back to the game. God, that's annoying. So, I'm gonna play one of my favorite games, and it's so hard. I can only make it about two minutes in. I play it my entire life. Some people I've seen online, they pick it up, and a month later they fly through the whole thing, but I am not one of those people. And it is for the Sega Master System, which is a, a lesser known system, the predecessor to the Genesis. It's the 8-bit, uh, system in the Sega line. It's known as dual cartridge. Hang on an Astro Warrior. play Hang On. Hang On's cool. Astro Warrior is dope as shit. Let's look at that. Ah, 
Ah, uh, I have to resize the window again. There's got to be a better way to do this. Uh, it's huge. I apologize for the technical difficulties. This is the first time I've ever done any of this, so... I'd say my background is pretty fucking cool, so I can't... I don't want to hear any complaints. But you can't see the oscilloscope anymore. What happened? Uh, lumen. Lumen needs to be made bigger. Lumen's a really great app. If you look it up, if you're into video, synthesizers, stuff like that, it's the way to go. Alright, cool. We're good. See, each of these games, each of these different systems in that era have very different synthesizers in them. And uh, I really like the sound of the Sega Master System. It is, it's very arcade. The big competitor to it was the NES, obviously, which totally destroyed it. Uh, not doing very well. And it, the, you know, Nintendo has a classic sound, obviously, but if you actually work with that synthesizer, it's um, pretty limited compared to this one. So you get some nicer sounds in this. It strains foster creativity, so. Oh, this is so hard. So up here, there's gonna be this guy named, like, Zenobi or something. And he... I've never been able to beat him. It's like the, the first boss in the game. This, this is definitely an arcade design game. You know, insert a coin to start. If you get hit by one of those things, you're dead. Got it. Ah! Ah! No! That every time. And now I don't have any of my power-ups, and they're gonna bring you up to them with no power-ups. So there's just no fucking point. I'll try. As a kid, I had this joystick I could play it with. I just want to look at the oscilloscope. I wonder if I can, so this thing does cross fading. It'd be cool to make it go over the video too. Oh, we lost the um, the game going over. Okay, let me play with this for a second. All right, so cross fader. Uh, 
No, we're good. No, there. We're good. So we want this to be opening a meter. There we go. There we go. You know, Panim, you go in there. So now if I was to get rid of the screen, this is what it is. You can play the whole game like that. <laughs> That'd be super cool. Let me try it. I'm going to change the parameters on here so it's not so intense for you. Change the focus. Focus. This is really trippy. <laughs> Something more peaceful. Like that? Camera. Not seeing anything. Hmm. Why did I change patches? I'll just do ones with the webcam built in. Disco Shadow. So here's the game. <laughs> so here's what we're playing. I'm going to tweak some parameters. Pause game when in background. No. All right. The oscilloscope going right in behind me. Oh, there. I'm happy. I'm happy. Alright, this guy's gonna kick my ass. See what Super Mario looks like. And I'm gonna announce that I'm doing this. Where I'm still I'm still getting used to this site. Channel. Alright, 
I'm telling yeah. Facebook, Facebook that I'm streaming Psychedelic Mario. I've moved on to video synthesizers now. Live Mario time. All right, cool. Announced. Go back to the dashboard. This is so complicated. Then I can monitor who's watching. I can see what it looks like. All right, and well, before I play Mario, this is the game I played as a kid. seen anything. One second. It was working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just going to let it play for a second. Oh, this is the coolest thing in the universe. Yeah, it came with like five or six games. So vividly. I think I got that like on my like third like Christmas. Christmas. Alright. Alright. This is gonna look amazing. Gonna look amazing. Should I do the original do Mario? Or Super Mario, or Super Mario World? World? My favorite is Super Mario, Mario World, but I think, but I think Mario Brothers will Mario look Brothers better. Will look so we'll do both. It's annoying, I have to re um, reconfigure this each time. Oh, I see. Opening a mute. Airbeam Pro. Oh, it's just different frequencies coming through, I guess. I guess he is, he is kind of funky, isn't he? Now you're only seeing a, you're not seeing all of him. I have to move movement around. There you go. Where's my oscilloscope? Where's my oscilloscope? Ah. Ah. my oscilloscope isn't going to there. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Should I just play it like this? Yeah, why not? I mean, it looks cool for you. I always like to play as Luigi. And my controller isn't working. Ah! 
I swear, I'm gonna have this down to a science. friend Jason made a video synthesizer recently and it does really cool shit and uh, so I've decided to put it as a backdrop on the video and of course I got my new uh, oscilloscope and I'm like there must be some way for me to hook that up because his synthesizer thing doesn't do audio at all it doesn't do oscilloscopes so I have my so iPhone, have iPhone on a tripod, tripod in front of my oscilloscope, and it's wirelessly, it's wirelessly sending things, sending things, things over the network, the network, and I have a virtual, have a virtual thing, thing that's connecting it, connecting and it's all hooked up together, together right here, just broadcast, broadcast feed. feed. And then I can modulate. modulate. What you're looking at is just the synthesizer. This is the output of the synthesizer. So I can turn the knobs and do some crazy things. Let's load up another patch. I want to get a good starting, get a good starting point. point. Like, do you think Mario would look cool on top of this? Let's find out. I know. I I know about the echo. I spent like an hour trying to fix that. Uh, I just need to fix it. 
I need different I need hardware, different I guess. Hardware, I guess. Really, I need to sneak really, this need stupid, stupid app to mute. Let's solve everything. Solve everything. I figured it adds to the effect. So, you know, this isn't like too exciting the video thing, but I think it's the coolest thing in the world. I'm not too familiar. Like, it's, this is literally like a legitimate synthesizer. So, you can do some pretty cool things with it. But I need to spend more time with it. It's pretty new. I just launched a couple weeks ago. Mario. I wanna I'm gonna do Super Mario World. That would look cool. Can see there's like this whole patch bay. There's three oscillators, three color channels. It's very complicated. Wish you could see what I'm doing. All right, I'm turning something and something's happening. So, I just, ooh. Well, I would go right now, but Super Mario World must be done. I apparently lost my oscilloscope. I should have saved some of those patches. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm bored with this. We will play it the old school way. The game centered. We have giant. Let's still scope the background. That was a lot going on.
nick of time. Alright, I'm gonna do the other Mario game now. The superior one. I think I have a supreme attachment to this game. Because when I grew up, this was the only. This is the. I had a NES in my grandparents' house. But when I got a system at home for the first time, it was the SNES, and it came with this game. Uh, and I played this game probably more than I've done anything else in my entire life. Uh, I used to be tremendously fantastic at it. I still am, I'm, but I'm really out of practice, so it like takes me an hour or two to get back into it. So don't be... Prepare to be unwowed. Man, it looked so cool earlier, I should have touched it. This is my favorite part of the whole game. Boom! Ah. See that, that, uh, there's some advanced Yoshi maneuvers, that's all I have to say. Man, I want this to be run through that synthesizer. That'd be so cool. Ugh. Bastards. You know, I could just beat the whole game. I have a speed run I did as a when I was in high or college before speed runs were really a thing. And uh, I did 14 minutes. I'm sure. I'm sure that people have done it in like eight or something crazy, seven, six. Now, but it was just me like running through it. Well, that's it. Felt really good because as a kid, I the biggest accomplishment in life was to defeat Bowser. You know? And I remember when I finally got to that stupid castle. You know. And I and it took you know, once you got to the castle, it took a good month to beat Bowser. For me. I was pretty young, keep in mind. It wasn't like a one shot deal. This is not a five hour playthrough game in my in my world view. Oh! I love that. Boom! I'm getting better at- I'm using a Sony controller. I'm getting better at, uh, at doing it on that. I got surprisingly good at this game on the uh, Game Boy Advance. They released a port. I was able to play it whenever I wanted, so... I played it a lot. <laughs> and it had a nice, like, uh, playthrough counter tracker thing. Let me share one more link. Oh, I love this game. I'm like embarrassed to share a link to this without the synth rhyme. And my computer is like not doing well right now. 
I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna play the game. Cause that's why you guys are here, right? What is that? Is my keyboard not working? Oh, spotlight is like broken. It's ridiculous. Whatever. See, if you didn't have a Yoshi here, you take the red shell and you throw it up there, and then you get the thing. But I'm gonna do this instead. Boom! Ah, but I can't throw the shell. I can do that! I've been through every scenario. <laughs> That's what I love about this game, is I feel like they really placed everything very intentionally. Oh. I'm adjusting the oscilloscope for you guys. Is that a focus? Is that a focus? There we go. There we go. Pretty cool little device. Cool little device. And it's out of sync with the camera. That's a cool effect. I still leave it. So again, this is just a test run. I'll get this more productionized soon. There's some music going too. It's entirely unnecessary to go on the top platform here and not just walk on the bottom, but it's so, it's so, so much more fun. That's what I love about this game, it's just a fun game. Like, the new Mario's, the one for the Wii U I have, and it's, it's very visually appealing, but uh... I don't know, this is, this is my favorite game of all time right here. Like, everything about it is just so handcrafted. As a kid, my mom did this one day and it, she blew my mind. I had no idea. It's great. Yeah, I was like three when I got this. Four. Five. Uh, the funny thing is, as a kid, I could never fly. Oh. Oh no! So close. I usually get him like immediately. I get him immediately or not at all. That sucks. And the, the thing about the Game Boy port of this game, it's thrown me off a little bit. I played it a lot. The Game Boy Advance. And they the screen isn't as wide, I think. They changed they changed something about the aspect ratio. So this scene in particular is like the only one that was affected. You do some like advanced timing stuff. Uh, and it doesn't work. Oh! I should have got my 
There we go. Now you can time a jump here just right, and you'll hover over the lava. But as I grew older, I just realized it wasn't worth the risk, because it only worked 10% of the time. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just I so let's go. So let's go. That'll work. I wish you could see the waveform is better, but I'm, I don't want to waste your time. Alright, first thing, losing Yoshi. Don't need him. Oh! Ah! Come back! Now, if you don't kill those guys, they respawn. There he is. Mm. Boom! And thank you, Yoshi. Let's fly away together. Boom! See? Like, that's what I'm talking about. This game is amazing. It's just like... harmonically laid out. Almost. <laughs> is Yoshi worth it? Should we go get him? Ah! It's never worth it. Alright, now this level is interesting. It's, just, it's so weird, I never figured out how to fly as a kid. I knew how to like go up, I couldn't stay airborne. I would just do dives into the ground. My dad could do it, and I was just so amazed by his abilities. Oh, oh, I could have I could have done that. Come on. Damn it. Oh. A spin. I was going to spin jump him. You can see I have the chops. Just a little rusty. Right. It's also just a completely pointless collection of coins. But not nearly as uh, pointless as the Game Boy, uh, the DS games. The new Super Mario Brothers 1 and 2. They are ridiculous. They're just they're just like coin city. Like collect a bajillion coins for no reason. Just to make the number go up. It's it's I don't know, it's it's oddly fun, but at least these ones have a purpose. I wanna get samples of this game with like the coin sound and put them in a track. I absolutely guarantee you there is a sample pack out there of all of these sounds. But no, most people do it with the original Mario game, the Super Mario uh, Brothers, not Super Mario World. Now, I also have an equally deep love affair of Yoshi's Island, which I think is one of the most difficult platformers around. It's a hard game. And, uh... It's really fun though, it's just, it's so, it's so fun. 
I've played all of the um, the modern versions. There's one for the Wii U. It's yarn, yarn something. I don't remember, but I played through the whole thing, and I, I can't stand the soundtrack. But other than that, it's a good game. That was hard. Um, but to me, Yoshi's Island is the music. Mostly. And it's the same with this game. It's like the music is 90% of the experience. Like, you could update all the graphics and keep the music and it'd be okay. And they did that with uh, Super Mario All Stars. They did that with the original Mario games. Or, I don't remember which one they did it with. No! Yeah! back. Lumen. I'm getting the awesome graphics back because we deserve them. Glitchy. That'll work. Alright, killing that. And then Lumen gets uh, royal treatments. Try to turn the camera up though. That's nice. Okay, that works. And I'll make Mario a bit bigger for you. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Uh, and I'm saving this. Cool. Let's play. I'll amp the way forward a bit more too. The signal coming into this thing is real low because of the feedback. I turned my speakers down. You can see him. You can see him. There he is. Not there.
Does that look good? You can't see them at all. Oh, we got a 10 seconds, I promise. They're awfully quiet. Such a pretty map. And like this is, I need to get a poster. I don't have any room on walls, but I just love, I love this game. Great for hand-eye coordination. Oh! So this flat one here is special. This is how you get to the alternative exit. But it's also a shortcut to just get to a regular exit too. All the special exits normally are. Alright, let me think here. Is it shell? Now, note that it's a purple shell. If you have a Yoshi and you eat a purple shell, Yoshi can fly. So you can do this whole thing with a Yoshi. It's very good game design. And you're not supposed, you don't, they don't teach you about the shell colors until much later in the game. There's a trick. I have to time it. Right. Yes! Yes! Woo! One up! One up! <laughs> the same as so much fun. Sound. So now we don't have to finish the level. We can go just back to where we came to that flat flat part. Level, 
these levels require like a very zen state of mind. Because it's just a lot of waiting. For those unfamiliar, that green switch it made that appear. See, and there's a yellow switch, which is on the left at the beginning. Let's go back and do that. So instead of doing this whole thing, we just go over here. So there's a secret here. You gotta time it right. It's kind of scary to do. Uh, uh, all right, so, oh, fuck. Okay. You run up here. Run, 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 run. <laughs> And there's all these one-ups, but they're like not worth it because they're gonna get you. <laughs> and you go to this exit. And then you get a thing that makes the game like infinitely easier. All right, in this spot, you get Yoshi. In this spot, you get little fire fire dudes, whatever they're called. I never get them. And in this spot, you get uh, the feathers that give you the cape. And it's nice. This is a nice like, and there's even like some modulation type thing going here, because like if you come in as a little Mario uh, and you want to get two feathers, you have to come over here first and get one of these guys, and then get two of these. So the normal workflow. Yeah, well, let's do that. Yeah. You got one of these, two of these, and then you got your Yoshi. And if you already have a Yoshi, it's a one up. And you leave. It's pretty great. So now we are fully armed. And just for fun, we'll eat Yoshi's apples. Now, when I was a kid, a lot of, we, you know, we all played this game when we were all little kids, so we all had these myths about what this level was for. <laughs> like, there must have been some secret hidden trick here. Uh, but no. No, there's not. That's why I was really excited, uh when the Masingo glitch hit the streets, I was like in fourth grade, or fifth grade. Yeah, I had been playing Pokemon for about a year and people were talking about the Masingo thing. Like, oh yeah, you surf up and down and you talk to this man. And, and then the, the sixth item in your inbox will be infinite and you, it can be a rare candy. And like, it, it, the fact that that actually worked like completely blew my mind. It was amazing. I don't do this level as often. I don't play this game that often. I play, I've, I've probably played it like for half an hour in the last year or two. Oh, crap. The cape dynamics are really interesting. I think I abuse them a lot in how I play, but uh, it works. All right, so you can do this with the Yoshi. You spin jump and then land on him.
Now, if I didn't have a cape, I'd hit that directly. Oh, <laughs> whoa! He ate after I, uh... Come on. I've never seen him do that before. That's cool. He did a swallow anime. There's some bugs with the, with the, the mouth physics of Yoshi. It's fun. Now, the one thing you can't do that I know of is throw that shell up. But you don't usually need to because you can do this. No, it. I wonder if I can't. I don't know. I. So there's this. Uh, there's a moon over here, and they're really rare. Oh, there it is. Three up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not usually fully armed when I hit this level, so. Uh, do I, let me think. Alright, I'll take it. I don't like these things, but it's better than, than what I have up there. For me, it's all about the cave. Oh! oh. I feel like that was some, like, I don't know, I'm very happy with that. Ah, oh, I missed it. It's all about standing in the right spot. straight pixel mode, it's in some kind of NTSC emulation, and it, it, I feel like I'm playing on TV without the bending, so don't even think about it. I've never played with a, a pixel blending that I like didn't notice, so I'm pretty happy. And the sound! <laughs> Alright, I need to go to bed. I'll finish this world. So as a kid, this these levels were really confusing because you're like higher level thinking isn't really there. You'd be like, oh a door, I'm gonna go in the door. And it's like, oh, that doesn't do anything. And you're like, oh, it follows your movements. That's so weird. They're pretty trippy. So you have to go, you have to like do, it's in a loop, a loop, and you have to do it like, so you skip it, I think. You either hit it and skip it, or you, yeah, there it is. And then it works. Sound. 
It's a very satisfying sound. Alright, so these... I usually just kind of... fly. I'll skip half the level. That was close. Ah! No! Yoshi! Oh no! 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 That's the risk of just doing that. I usually get through the level that way. Uh, let me get more capes. I'll try it without Yoshi. I'm just gonna ditch you. No! See? I made this... I always do that. I even explained why not to do that. Alright, did you new Yoshi? I don't need you anymore. Alright. I refuse to do the level as it was designed. But of course they put these things in for people like me. So I, I don't know, I just like 2D games better. Like, I want them to make a modern uh, 2D Mario. And they did with the, the DS games. They were alright. But, I don't know. Different level of quality. Oh, that is this the color changing one? Ah, I hate that thing. All right. This level, um, I don't know. It's always stuck in my memory. I don't know it very well because it's like really chaotic. There's all these pipes that go up and down, and and one of those things that floats. Yeah, there it is. Like, I don't, I don't consider this a... Most of the levels in this game are pretty fun. Uh, this is not one of them for me. At least the ones at the beginning are fun. There's a lot of unfun levels towards uh, the middle and the end. Like, the next one, the vanilla cave, cavern, dome, whatever it's called. Um... I, I don't think I like any of the levels in it. But I always called them hamburger dudes. Ooh, ooh, ah! Man, I'm not doing well. I need a cape. I can't do this. Oh, my hand. So he runs a little faster. Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is just... See, I hate this level. Ah! Mm. Okay. Leave me alone. Just die already. Um, really? I don't know. I don't have sound all of a sudden. I'm not sure about you. But I'm gonna wait till that level's over to investigate. Huh. Uh, I'm gonna have to reset my sound card. Hopefully that won't cause any problems. All right. 
audio still coming through? All right, just one more, and then I can go to sleep. Oh, this is. Oh, I always die a lot in this one. Oh, I have to turn my sound down. I'm sorry. I'm gonna buy a headphone amp that has multiple outs, so that I can. Uh, So I can do this properly. I mean, I could do it right now, actually. But the signal coming through the oscilloscope would be bad. I'd rather have the echo than have an ugly oscilloscope. I love this part. This is like. This is like. I'm turning the sound down. Oh, the sound is off. And I'm still getting. What the fuck is going on? Something's sending sound to my Mac. Like the actual. Hardware itself. Well, that's easy. Well, that's easy. I can just turn that interface down. Built in output. Master is turned to zero. There we go. Testing. One, two, three. Aha! Well, I found the source of the problem. at the beginning. See, I like kind of sprint through every level. And so, like, if I chilled, I would die as often as I do. But it's way more fun to just, like, Mario, of course. You know, 
actually pretty tricky little maneuvers you have to do. And whenever I see anyone else playing Mario, I notice that many people that aren't, like, into it... My, my finger never lets go of the wrong button. I mean, it, it, it like, lets go for a second, now and again. Uh, oh, ah! But generally, it's held down the whole time, and I feel like it was kind of like Mario 101. But some people, like, they're like, oh, that's a fun game, and they, like, walk through the whole thing, and it blows my mind. Before they come back up, it's not long enough. I usually do this in one shot. Maybe two. It doesn't usually take me as many tries. switch earlier that makes this part a lot easier. Not necessary by any means, but easier. Uh, man, I used to be able to just do this. And add practice. Three, two, one. These guys are a piece of cake. You just hit him on the head three times. <laughs> and every single one's the same. soundtrack in here is cool. Alright. Well, we could have been actually all the way to Bowser's Castle right now if we decided to uh, go through... Can you... You can't hear me, can you? Testing? You can't hear me. All right, it's not coming to the oscilloscope. Um, 
We could have gone the whole way to Bowser's Castle. We went through the Star... Whatever. Star Road. <coughs> but that's for another video. <coughs> Thanks for letting me uh, set up my system. That was fun. I really like this, this uh, Lumen video overlay thing going on. I'm, I'm really happy with it, so... It's pretty cool. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> Let's see here. Dashboard. How do I end? I guess I just stop the stream.